Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you've been here before. This is going to be our either second or third YouTube video. I have another one filmed, but I'm not sure which one I want to upload first. Um, our first YouTube video was just basically an intro into the business, um, me starting the YouTube channel. And yeah, so make sure you go check that out if you're interested in that. Today we are going to do a candle studio tour or a candle office tour. I don't know what you would call it, but my workspace where I make all the candles, where all the magic happens. I'm going to pretty in depth show you guys everything I have, how I store everything and just talk about the future plans for this area. And yeah, I really hope you guys are excited for today's video like I am. I can't wait to show you. Um, just a little disclaimer, making candles is not pretty. The finished product is pretty, but the making of them is not pretty. It's very messy. You will see that there's wax everywhere. There's candle dye everywhere. Um, it's, it's a messy process, so... <laughs> Just don't expect something all glamorous and gorgeous because that just isn't really the reality of making candles or wax melts. Um, <laughs> so I just wanted to say that really quick. I just cleaned it up and organized it a little bit, so hopefully it would look a little bit nicer for you guys. Um, but it usually doesn't even look this nice. It's usually a mess like crazy because it's just, it's a lot making candles. <laughs> Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and jump into the video. If I get out of breath a lot, I'm sorry. Like I said in the first video, I am 25 weeks pregnant and talking just gets me so short of breath and yeah, it's, it's a lot, <laughs> but yeah, we'll just go ahead and jump right into the video. Make sure you guys go and check out our Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, um, and our other YouTube video. And if you are interested in more of like a lifestyle slash parenting slash mom, channel. I personally have my own YouTube channel. It's just um, Bailey Stroll. I'll leave it down in the comment or down in the description box for you guys. So I do have two YouTube channels. This one for my business and the other one just based around my life as a mom. And yeah, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Okay, so my candle space is in a basement. It's my mom's basement. Um, that's just pretty much the only place that I could really do this at. Um, so it kind of starts right here. This is my daughter's whole play area. I'm not even going to show you guys that because it's a mess. But it starts right here and we're going to go all the way around. I'm going to go through every single thing. And it stops right about here. So yeah, we're just going to start. Sorry if this is making you dizzy. Um, we're going to start right over here. This is my filing slash organizing area. Um, I basically just keep receipts, pre-made labels, and then I need to figure out names for the rest of this stuff. This is all YouTube videos I want to make. Um, this is a local pickup order. I'm in the middle of packaging up and getting ready, and this will just be extra paperwork storage. Sticky notes, hole puncher. Next drawer is going to be wax melts. Once I have more wax melts than this made, obviously it's not going to all fit in here so I'll have to figure out something else but for now I just have all the wax melts right here I just made these the other day and I'm pretty proud of them they're blueberry cheesecake some came out better than others um, with the blending of the two colors it was kind of hard to do um, and these are strawberry shortcake I made last night and the blending definitely came out better than the first time with the blueberry cheesecake so yeah this is all the wax melts and also my wax melt warning labels in the first drawer. The second drawer is kind of all over the place. It's candle warning labels, candle wick stickers, thank you stickers, um, candle wicks, uh, more candle wicks. And then over here are my new sample bags. I just ordered these and got them in today actually, so I'm excited for them. Um, those are the new sample bags. This, I'm going to start doing decorated, like more decorated candles. So I bought that today to do the frosting. Um, what else is in here? I think that's everything in this drawer. Last drawer is all decorating stuff for the candles and also my molds. So these molds I use for, um, like this is a raspberry mold. I have a blueberry mold. Um, strawberries and then oranges and then these are to make samples out of I make cute little samples for all my customers 
And that's what that is for. I have more, but they're on the other side that I'll show you soon. Um, the glitter I decorate the tops of the candles with. Um, some rocks. These are all my shells inside these. All my flowers I use. So this is pretty much my decorating drawer. And here is just some extra wax that I cannot fit inside this container over there. So it just stores right down here so it's easy for me to grab. This is my picture box I take. Well, it doesn't stay inside this tote. It's just stored in there for right now. Um, it's just a little box I made to take pictures with. And that's the lid to my Presto Pot. Here is where I'm storing already made and ready to go candles. So they are all just stored right up top. I'm obviously going to need way more space than that. So I'm looking into getting some bookshelves to go down here that I can put all the candles on. Trash box because making candles comes with a lot of trash, a lot of paper towels and all kinds of stuff that you go through. And this basket is candles that need labeled. So is this basket and this basket back here. And so will this one. These will all be candles that need labeled. So like this one is labeled, but I labeled it wrong. <laughs> and these are my candle tins I will be putting in my shop really soon. So these are the ones that I have made ready to go. They just need labeled. Same way here. Um, this is my samples bag. So this or samples basket. This is what my samples did look like. They were just in these little bitty clear plastic bags. Nothing fancy, but I just ordered more fancy ones. This is pre-labeled wax melts right there. So it just makes it easy for me to grab them once I'm ready to make them and they're already labeled and ready to go. Tons and tons of fragrance oil. I need to find a better way to store that, probably on a shelf that I might put like back here along this wall. These are my cups that I use to measure out the oil. Extra paper towels. Tons of different, I don't know what you would call these, pouring pitchers, I guess, that I use the wax in. I'll melt it in here, move it into here to do, you know, all the fragrance oil and mixing and coloring and everything else goes into there. This is my wax. Well, at least one of the waxes. I use two different waxes. This is my beautiful Presto Pot, even though it's super dirty. This thing is amazing. I did the um, double boiler method to melt my wax for the longest time. And I just recently got this. It was about 90 bucks, and it is worth every single penny. This is a mini fridge. <laughs> I just have some drinks down here, and my mom also keeps some extra drinks down here. Because it is... It just... It's hard to go up and down the stairs, especially while I'm pregnant, and get drinks and... Making candles makes you really out of breath, believe it or not. And like I said, everything is messy. So there's wax everywhere. This is my little heat gun that I use to melt the tops of the candles. Just a power strip and some lights. These are more so for filming YouTube videos and also just extra lighting. So is that light over there. I have two different scales. Um, this is my more expensive, nicer scale. This is just a cheaper scale, but it's still a good scale. Like I said, my cups to measure out the wax. I'll just take them, put them on here. And that's, or not measure out the wax, measure out the fragrance oil. Just a little bless um, cross. Some baby wipes because it just helps with the cleanup of things. My coffee, of course, you need coffee. These are all candle dyes and candle mica powder pigments. So this, 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 and all this is the dye. And this is the only mica powder area, this one right here. So the rest is all candle dye. This cute little thing, I have some of these... Um, these I made from the molds that I showed you over there. So there's strawberries, blueberries, and raspberries, and I'll use those to top off candles. And these are little papers, or they're sticker papers that I use to write the samples on. Um, back here, I don't really know what's all in here. Um, a little empty, I think this is empty, yeah. Fragrance oil bottle, some double-sided tape the thing to my thermometer over there just unnecessary stuff um this is what i use to stir with 
stir the wax and everything else because it's just metal. It's easy to clean off and it's just easier to use. This is a new thermometer I just got the other day. It's a lot better of a thermometer. Sticky notes just to write down stuff that I need to do. Batteries, scissors. This is how I take these big blocks because these are like full size blocks that you have to shave down to get the color. And I use a potato peeler to shave them down. And this is what I'm cutting my wicks with temporarily until I can get a wick trimmer. Um, this is just extra jars. I don't know why they're here. My water, which I need a drink because... Oh, I'm very out of breath <laughs> filming this. And here is the bump. I don't know if you can really see it, but, you know, there's the baby bump. It looks small in this in this mirror. I don't know why. It's a lot bigger than that in person. <laughs> Um, yeah, and that's just some glitter that I have there. I don't know why. These are all jars that need made. There's my daughter sleeping. So these are just all jars that I need to make into candles right there. Underneath, we have just tons of boxes. This is a bunch of candle tins inside here. Candle lids for once the candles are made. I just store them down here. This is all packing peanuts. This whole thing is full of packing peanuts. Empty jars to make into candles. My giant, giant thing of packing peanuts is right there. Um, these are what I make the samples out of. It's just more molds. I had tons of mess last night. It just wasn't a good night last night. And also more molds to make wax melts out of or candle... Um, just the samples, that's what I'm trying to say. Close pins to center all the wicks. You know, I just clip them on. Well, not like that, but clip them on and then you can center your wicks. And also straws. I was using these um, to do the wicks. I would like wrap the wick around that, but it just didn't work out very well. So I switched to clothes pins. Um, these are just more candles that need made. And these are already made samples. They're just sitting here until I can get them into bags. These are wax melts I made last night. So basically this is my pouring area. I move any jars over here and that's where I pour everything once it's ready to be poured. Um, underneath, these are just tons of more jars that need made into candles. And these are all of the wax melt clam shells. So let me see if I can pull one out. Probably not. Okay, there we go. They're just the clam shells to make wax melts. I have two boxes of those. Um, this is just tons of extra stuff. I don't even know what's in those right now. My paper cutter. This is my packaging area. All of this is where I package up all the orders, basically. Um, so up here, I just have thank you cards, um, candle care, tape, measuring tape, fragile stickers right there, bubble wrap, um, flat rate shipping mailers, just tons of boxes, more bubble mailers. These are all orders that are ready to go. They just need to be finished, packaged up and ready to ship. And that's just an empty shipping box. Okay, so that was my entire candle space, and I am super out of breath from talking about all of that. I don't know why it gets me so out of breath, but I'm definitely out of breath. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm still working on so much down here and getting it changed. I want to actually box this entire area in with sheetrock. Basically build a mini actual office down here, and that way it'll be completely closed off from the rest of the basement. I also want to get a little... Um, rug. I don't know what kind of rug because I am working with wax. It might have to be like more of a gem mat type of thing. Um, or maybe I'll put like laminate wood floors in. Just something that's easy to clean up. Um, so I might look into doing that here soon. And just getting more storage down here, more shelving space to help things go. Because I'm using all this like flat space, but I need, what is this called? vertical maybe I don't know 
going up. So I need to get shelves or something, bookcases, so I can store going up. And I think it would help clear out a lot of the stuff sitting on tables. Um, but yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope it wasn't too crazy and moving around too much with me filming. Um, hopefully it was informative and kind of gave you guys some inspiration on how to organize your stuff when you're making candles. Um, because it's a lot. It took me probably a month and a half to figure out how to store everything to how it is now and it's still not anywhere near perfect. But yeah. I hope you guys have a great day. Make sure you come back for our future videos and go check out the first video I uploaded. And I'll see you guys hopefully on my social medias. You guys can message me anytime on Instagram or Facebook um, if you want help making candles or any questions that you have. Um, or just leave it in the comment section below. But I'm always open to talking to you guys about anything. I want to build relationships with every single person that comes to my channel. So yeah, I keep saying so yeah a lot, but... <laughs> Um, have a good day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.